for someone. She called out to an elderly person who seemed to be Tea House's boss and softly asked something. Kanroji's, ah, you mean Mitsuri. She did not come here today. Hearing such a reply, Kano looked disappointed. Mitsuri, she must have been referring to the love pillar, Kanroji Mitsuri, who was close friends with Shinoba. Speaking of which, the tea house that Mitsuri frequented was in this area and she heard that the tri-colored dango sold by that store was extremely delicious. Why would Kano want to find love pillar Sama? Did Shinobu Sama have a message to pass to her, which was why she headed straight for this place when she left the apothecary? But if there was really such an errand, then Aoi would have been informed as well. Thinking to this point, Ah Aoi covered the side of her mouth. There was only one possibility. Were you thinking of borrowing money from love pillar Sama? Hesitating for a while, Kano lightly replied un because Aoi was troubled. I thought it would have been a good idea but I could not help out in the end. Warm tears slid past Aoi's cheeks, the tears that she was holding back as hard as she could float out non-stop like a waterfall. Kano looked at Aoi feeling flustered, not long after she nervously placed a hand on Aoi's shoulder. Thank you, after Aoi said that softly in a hoarse voice she felt that her mood was lifted. Today you helped out so much for the whole day when I was almost taken away by Sound Pillar Sama. You also tightly held onto my hand and did not let go. After Awa finished expressing her thanks, an embarrassed expression appeared on Kano's face and the latter shyly lowered her head. She finally said it. Just as Awa was thinking that, Kano mumbled if it was just me, whether it was the time that wrestler collapsed or that time when the husband and wife were arguing. I definitely would not know what to do. Kano Awa blinked away her tears again. Since when were you able to make decisions without tossing your coin? Once Awa asked this, Kano fell silent. It was Tanjira, he not long after she mentioned a name that Aoi did not expect to hear. He wanted me to live while following my heart, and he cheered me on so I see a slight red tinge appeared on Kano's fair cheeks, seeing how she was right now. Aoi completely understood her situation, just like how he helped Aoi break free of her self-deprecation and guilt. Those words also changed Kano, the boy who was like the sun, used a single sentence to transform the girl who was like a puppet into a human that was likely why Kano was able to show such serene and gentle expressions now. Ao looked at Kano as many emotions crossed her, the warmth that overwhelmed her heart was enough to bring anyone to tears. However, once she knew that that youth was not being kind only to her, a faint feeling of disappointment arose within her, but Ao as she acknowledged that the two of them had the same kind of feeling she became happy. Many different kinds of emotions were crossing each other even though they had lived together all along. The girl still gave off the feeling that she was distant. However, right now Aoi felt that they were close. Kano was right next to her, just as Aoi was looking at the girl's blushing face here. Eat up. The elderly boss carried a tray of tea and tricolored dango over. The boss placed the tray on the long bench that was beside the two and prepared to leave. Zeh. No, we didn't. Aoi saw what happened and immediately admitted that she did not have any money. I won't request payment from the two of you. After finishing his words, the elderly man showed a faint wry smile. Tian actually the Chinese translation did not make it clear if the boss was a man or woman. Nun 5. An image courtesy of ultraviolet heart tumbrel the two of you Mitsuri's comrades, right? Demon slayers or something like that. Um, ah, uh, yes. When my daughter was attacked by a demon, it was Mitsuri who saved her. Mitsuri is the benefactor who saved my daughter's life. Thinking about it, this isn't a job that's easy. You both have push on, but don't be reckless, all right? The boss finished his words and returned into the tea house. Oi looked back and forth at the old man's rickety back and the hot tea that was giving off steam. His sincere concern and warm gaze caused warmth to come out from within her heart. If it was last time, then all the more I am unable to accept your good intentions. I am a useless burden that's unable to go on the battlefield after all. Oi was sure to say those kinds of stuck-up words. However, she does not think that anymore. As someone who was part of the Demon Slayer Corps, knowing that someone was full of acknowledgement and gratitude towards the Demon Slayers made her extremely happy, always sniffled a bit and said then let's accept these with gratitude, Kano. She smiled at Kano and Kano also smiled slightly back while nodding. The tricolored dango that was received much praise from the love pillar was extremely delicious and also had a slight salty flavor when they left the tea house. The west side of the sky had been dyed red. Oi and Kano walked side by side in the town that was steadily becoming darker, long and thin shadows stretched out from beneath their feet. Once they returned to the butterfly estate, they should first apologize for not being able to buy the herbs and then set off once it was morning to get them. Oi thought that to herself on the way back. When they reached the outside of the town, they heard the sound of someone chasing after them from behind. Hey wait up. Yes, I mean the two of you. Wait for me. 
When they turned around, what appeared before their eyes was the face of that apothecary boss that was like a dried eggplant. Ha ha, ah, oh, thank goodness. He raised his shoulders and kept gasping for air. What's up? At the same time as Ao was waiting for the boss to catch his breath, she asked. The boss let out an awkward smile after he heard the question. I apologize for what happened during the day. The boss took out a cloth bag and inside it were the herbs that Ao planned to buy. You can pay up the money any time you want. Eh? But seeing that the boss had suddenly changed his mind, Oi could not help but frown while Kano looked at the boss curiously. The two of them did not know what kind of wind just blew over. Perhaps he saw that they looked more suspicious than happy the boss shrugged his shoulders in embarrassment. Actually, he spoke as quietly as he could, as though he was afraid that others would hear him. So the elderly lady that both of you met at the 